Okay, so there's four main ingredients in beer. That would be malted barley, hops, water and yeast. So the first thing in the morning when we come in, all the malt will be, or the barley will be weighed out already. Um, and we do what's called mashing in. So that will include adding hot water to a very specific temperature and grain into the mash tun and making a thick porridge-like consistency, which is called a mash. Once I'm happy the parameters are in place, we then leave the mash to settle for 60 minutes. In that 60 minutes, um, a conversion happens. Basically, the enzymes in the barley turn the starches in the barley into sugars. Uh, so there's very specific parameters we have to hit to extract that sugar. It's that sugar that later down the line is going to be turned into alcohol. After the mash process, um, we're going to transfer that resultant sweet hot liquor, or it's called wort at this point, into the kettle. Um, the kettle's a, a 1500 litre vessel with heating elements in the bottom. So we're going to boil that liquor, or we're going to bring it up to the and boil it for 90 minutes. In the time it takes to get to that temperature, we're going to dig out the mash tun. So all the grain that is created by the mash, that will go later this morning off to the farmer. So there's no waste, basically. By the time we've cleaned out the mash tun, the kettle will just be about boiling. If you add hops into the beginning of a 90 minute boil, they're going to have more bitterness. If you add them at the end, bigger, excuse me, they're going to have more flavour and aroma. But I mean, we're going to use different uh, hop varieties to do different things. Some hops have sort of grassiness, some hops have like hedgerow flavours, some have fruity flavours, some have tropical fruit flavours, some have piney resinous flavours. Uh, you know, there's all manner of different flavours from different variety of hops. After the boiling process and all the hops have got in, we're going to transfer the sweet hot liquor from the kettle into the fermenting vessel. That's going to go through a heat exchanger, a power flow heat exchanger, which basically enables us to drop the temperature of the wort as it's transferring from 100 degrees boiling down to 20 degrees for fermentation. Um, when we filled the fermenter up, I'm happy the temperature's even. I'm going to put the yeast into the tank and then the yeast is going to eat away at the sugars, create an alcohol and effectively two weeks later you've got beer. When we first started out with this whole idea as a business, we didn't want to be locked away on an industrial estate as is often the case with breweries. So the idea was to, to have a place where you know we could interact with the customers and you know our business is very much passion driven in the brewing and the food and the hospitality side of it. So yeah, I don't think there's many places quite as unique as this in that it's a very old historic building um, and you know there's no secrets, everything's on show, we've got an open kitchen, the brewery's just behind the bar. Um, we really invite sort of discourse and conversation about about beer and indeed about food. Because um, we're very passionate, very proud about what we do.